Well, it was the first day when MPs agreed to enact business after forcing a washout for six long days. But shockingly, there was no one in the Lok Sabha for a full 10 minutes when the House convened after lunch. Well, on Friday, callous MPs decided to play truant, slaughter around the parliament complex and extend their lunch session. Never mind the mammoth losses to the exchequer due to the lack of business. Nor was there the urgency to legislate, considering the ping, pilling, piling up bills that have to be tabled in the House. Well, for six days, the opposition brought down the house on the issue of multi-brand retail, draining the coffers of over 12 crore rupees. And yesterday's 10 minutes of absentia cost the exchequer 25 lakh rupees. The sheer wastage of money, thanks to the egos of our elected leaders, has prompted even the president to lament the frequent disruptions in the parliament. In the recent years, I am noticing that there is a tendency of the disruptions in the houses, not only in the parliament, but also in the state legislative assemblies. We frame the rules ourselves. If we want that the rules should be flexible enough to accommodate our views, there is nothing which can prevent us from amending the rules. In every legislature, there is rule committee. In every legislature, there is procedures how the rules can be amended. We can amend the rules, but there is no point going on celebrations. We take vow that we will observe the rules, and the next day, the first thing we do, we violate the rules. That is not expected of the elected representative of the people.